Hello everyone, my name is Rob, welcome to the Video Gadgets Journal, and this is an iPhone 10. And over here is a direct screen recording of this device. It can now be done out of a box for free without any additional applications. So this is a complete beginner's guide on how to do it. The iPhone 10 comes with iOS 11 software pre-installed, which includes a native screen recorder. All you need to do is enable it. To do this, go to settings and select the control center. Next, you want to choose customize controls and you will see a list of controls that you can add to your control center. Scroll down the list until you see screen recorder and then tap the green plus button. That will add the screen recorder to your control center. As you back out of this screen, you will want to make sure access within apps is enabled. I will explain later. Now we are back at the home screen, let's find your screen recorder. Swipe down from the top right of the screen where your battery icon is to show the control center. This is your screen record button, but before we test it, instead of tapping the button, force touch it to bring up this option screen. Here you can choose whether to record with the microphone on or off. We will explain what that means later. Now let's do a very simple screen recording test. Bring down the control center and then tap on the screen record button. It will count down for three seconds so that you can prepare your screen. When the recording starts, the button will turn red and when you return to the home screen, the time in the top left hand corner will turn red as well to remind you that you are screen recording. The orientation of the screen will be set when you start the recording, in this case portrait, and the resolution will match your iPhone 10 screen, which is 886 by 1920. As we have the microphone turned off, the screen recording does not pick up any external noise such as my voice. To stop a recording, either tap the record button in the control center or tap the clock at the top of the home screen. A pop-up will confirm whether you want to do this and when you tap stop, a notification will appear at the top of the screen. You can tap this to jump to your photo app and view the video you just recorded. Those are the absolute basics of recording your iPhone screen. Now let's look at some of the options you have. As we demonstrated earlier, force touch on the record button. If you're not sure what that means, press the screen hard. Now let's switch on the microphone. This will now screen record with the iPhone 10 microphone switched on, which means you can do voiceover for commentary on games and tutorials. We're going to test that now. During a recording, everything will look the same. Just remember that it will pick up your voice. I am now recording the iPhone screen with the microphone turned on so you can hear my voice. I have just loaded up Clash Royale and I'm going to try and unlock a chest. Okay, let's pause there and watch the screen recording. I am now recording the iPhone screen with the microphone turned on so you can hear my voice. I have just loaded up Clash Royale and I'm going to try and unlock a chest. Two things to note here, when you record through the microphone, this may stop music from being played in certain applications, and note that we have black bars at the top and bottom of the screen, because the game doesn't cover the whole iPhone X screen. Next up is landscape screen recordings. To make sure the recorded video is set to the right orientation, make sure to open the application first and then start recording in landscape mode. This should ensure that when you go to the screen recording in your Photos app, it's not on its side. Again, note how this screen recording does not completely fit into a standard 1080p video resolution. This is because the iPhone 10 screen is slightly longer than standard, which may result in letterboxing as you can see here. And that is your complete beginner's guide to screen recording on your iPhone 10. Now, as you might imagine, it can get a lot more complicated than the basics, and surprisingly, there are some bugs in this built-in screen recording app. I cover all of this and many more things about screen recording on my channel, so it's well worth subscribing to for a lot more content. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.